Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 277. Vasculitis Affecting Small Vessels. Name the four small vessel vasculitis. The vasculitis includes microscopic polyangitis, Wegener's granulomatosis, which is just granulomatosis with polyangitis, along with Churg Strauss syndrome and Hinot Scholin purpura. What is microscopic polyangitis? Microscopic polyangitis is a necrotizing vasculitis commonly involving the lung, kidney, and skin with posse immune glomerulonephritis and a palpable purpura. Is there granuloma formation in microscopic polyangitis? There is no granulomas. Which autoantibody is microscopic polyangitis positive for? Microscopic polyangitis is positive for P. Enca. What is the treatment for microscopic polyangitis? The treatment for microscopic polyangitis is cyclophosphamide as well as corticosteroids. Describe the areas Wegener's granulomatosis affects. Wegener's granulomatosis has an effect on the upper respiratory tract, lower respiratory tract, as well as the kidneys. What is the triad for Wegener's granulomatosis? The triad of Wegener's granulomatosis includes focal necrotizing vasculitis, necrotizing granulomas in the lung and the upper airway, as well as necrotizing glomerulonephritis. Describe the presentation of Wegener's granulomatosis due to its effect on the upper respiratory tract. Due to the involvement of the upper respiratory tract, there is going to be perforation of the nasal septum, chronic sinusitis, otitis media, as well as mastoiditis. Describe the presentation that Wegener's granulomatosis is going to have because of its involvement on the lower respiratory tract. Due to its involvement on the lower respiratory tract, there's going to be hemoptysis, cough, as well as dyspnea. Describe the presentation of Wegener's granulomatosis due to its effect on the kidneys. Due to its effect on the kidneys, it will have hematuria and red cell casts. Wegener's granulomatosis is positive for which autoantibody? Wegener's granulomatosis is positive for C. Enca. Describe the appearance of a chest x-ray in Wegener's granulomatosis. On a chest x-ray, you would see large nodular densities. What is the treatment for Wegener's granulomatosis? Wegener's granulomatosis is treated with cyclophosphamide as well as corticosteroids. Describe the presentation of Churg-Strauss syndrome. Patients with Churg-Strauss syndrome will present with asthma, sinusitis, palpable purpura, and peripheral neuropathy, such as wrist or foot drop. Churg-Strauss syndrome can also have an impact on the heart, GI, as well as the kidney, and that would be the posse immune glomerulonephritis. Describe the pathology of Churg-Strauss syndrome. The pathology of this would include granuloma formation as well as necrotizing vasculitis with eosinophilia. What autoantibody is Churg-Strauss syndrome positive for? Churg-Strauss syndrome is positive for P. Anca autoantibody. Levels of what immunoglobulin would be elevated in Churg-Strauss syndrome? In Churg-Strauss syndrome, there would be an elevated level of IgE. What is the most common childhood systemic vasculitis? The most common childhood systemic vasculitis is Hinot Scholin purpura. And one thing to note about this is that it follows a upper respiratory tract infection. What is the classic triad for Hinot Scholin purpura? The classic triad is that on the skin there would be a palpable purpura on the buttocks or the leg. There would also be arthralgia. In the GI there would be abdominal pain, melena, and multiple lesions of the same age. Hinot Scholin purpura is a vasculitis that happens secondary to what? It happens secondary to IgA complex deposition. What other condition is Hinot Scholin purpura associated with? Hinot Scholin purpura is associated with IgA nephropathy. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.